Not a single general slapped down their stars, which should have happened two years ago when Biden ignored his reliable intelligence. Not a single person has been held accountable. Our so-called leader can't seem to even utter their names in public, not even once. Mr. Biden has run his entire political campaign for 50 years as the family man. Well, I've got news for you, sir. The curtain has been lifting and that campaign slogan will never work again. We have seen what's going on in your family and even worse, we've seen how you've been treating us as Gold Star families. And there couldn't be anything more disgusting and cowardly than the way you have treated us. You are a disgrace to this nation. You have no business having ultimate command over our military. And I regret not saying that to your face when I had the opportunity in Dover. I felt it more, like, more important to bite my tongue, but I also had more important things on my mind at that time, like receiving my son's lifeless body stateside. While I stood there on the tarmac, watching you check your watch over and over again, all I wanted to do was shout out, it's two fucking 30, asshole. But out of respect to the other grieving families, I bit my tongue once again. Well, as you could probably tell by now, I'm done biting my tongue. You, sir, stole their lives, their futures, their dreams, and have ripped apart 13 families. You cannot even man up and admit that. You, sir, gave us all the title Gold Star Family. You, sir, discredit honor and integrity. Two years later, there are things I find myself thinking about. Where and what was Biden's logic sneaking out of Bagram in the middle of the night before ever getting a single Afghan partner or American civilian out? <clears throat> this is the purest definition of intel, inter, intentional negligence. This is just one of many irresponsible and negligent decisions coming from the White House. <clears throat> 